What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. Guys, we are back with another video today. We are 50 subs away from 1,000. Thank you for the support. Before I get into the vid, you know what to do. Instead of dropping 10K, let's drop 1K in the comments for a chance of winning 10K. Let's get this video to 90 likes. Guys, we are so close to 1,000. I'm so excited. Uh, pack opening with Papu will be there at 1,000. I'm going to have to record that soon. Get that ready. Guys, thank you for all support, man. It's been absolutely unbelievable, bro. This uh, video is player of the month predictions, and I got a lot of them. Um, yeah, we got a ton of player of the month predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget, I am streaming tonight on Twitch at about 9.15, 9 o'clock, 9.30, whatever. Somewhere around 9 o'clock, we'll be starting the stream. Probably playing one to two ranked seasons games. We're streaming every day, Monday through Friday. Make sure to follow Twitch. It's in the description down below. Your boy, Bug16. And guys, so, player month predictions. I'm going to go with the big boy first, and this is the big one. Guys, Mr. Josh Bell, he is got to be the 95, 96 overall, whatever. Josh Bell, just... I don't even know what he's on, but the stats, the way he's been playing, everybody knows about Josh Bell. So we're just going to show you the stats. I think he's the boss. Either him or Arnado is the boss. One of those guys, it has to be. One of them has to be the boss. Okay, Arnado or Bell. One of them has to be the boss. Let's just, I'm going to just tell you the stats over the last month and you're going to be like, what the hell? Ready? Over the last month. Josh Bell is 43 for 116. He has 10 dingers, 12 doubles, 21 singles. He has 28 ribbies, 10 walks versus 20 strikeouts. And he has two intentional walks. 22 extra base hits. Yo, those stats are absolutely unbelievable. If he keeps this up, he could literally, his gold card go diamond. So let's hope he goes up. I sh you should literally invest in him right now. I only have one, but yes, I think he's going to be the boss, hands down. Okay, so I think Arnado might be a card. We'll see, though, because he already has a 91. He might have a card. He might not. Next up, Mr. Xander Bogart's father. Here he is. Xander Bogart's has been on an absolute tear. And let me tell you right now, if you guys didn't invest in Mr. Xander Bogart's yet, I would go invest in him. He is cheap. And here are the stats. I think he has a diamond card, probably an 88, 87, whatever. Here are the stats this month, man. Six, 35 for 100. That's a 350 average. So right there, that's just beautiful. He's got 20 singles, 9 doubles, 7 dingers, 21 ribbies, 12 walks versus 19 strikeouts, 16 extra base hits. If those stats don't pop out, I don't know what to tell you. Just go buy as many Xander Bogarts as you can. He literally is going to go diamond. And I didn't even know he was doing good until I looked at the player of the month stats. So yeah, Xander Bogarts is another top card. We got next up. So we got, this is what I think. We, I think we got a Bregman coming, a new Alex Bregman. He's been absolutely unbelievable. Is he worth an investment? Possibly. Alex Bregman stats, bro. 27 for 102. Not the best average, okay? But... The extra base hits have been crazy. He has, not, he has 10 diggers, 4 doubles, 14 singles, and 21 ribbies. With the stolen base, 20 walks for 16 strikeouts. That is a crazy, crazy rate. More walks and strikeouts. That is absurd. I think he deserves a card. I could be off, but that's what I think, man. That's what I think. I think he gets a card. Possibly, maybe, an, I don't know, maybe a 90? I don't know. But next up. This guy, we all know, we all we all know about this one. I told you guys to invest in this one a while ago, and it is Raphael Devers. If he doesn't get a card, I'm gonna be tight, cause Raphael Devers, he's on my fans team number one. He's batting over three, like thirty over the last month. Here are the stats: thirty-five for one hundred six, well over three something. Twenty-one singles, six doubles, seven dingers, th one triple, uh, nineteen ribbies, four walks versus twenty strikeouts. Okay. Not the best with walks and strikeouts, but the guy just went off, man. He slid up to fifth and fourth in the bat in the Red Sox lineup. He kind of was a letdown for the first month. The second month, he took steroids and he went off. 
So Raphael Devers, I think, is deserves a card for player of the month. Before, actually, oh, no, we're going to keep going. Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence deserves at least a gold card, a tops card, whatever. Hunter Pence has been absolutely unbelievable for the freaking Rangers. He's back. His resurgence here is here. 36-year-old Hunter Pence after having one of the worst seasons ever. He is back. And this month, he's batting three-something. He has 30 for 92 over the last month. He has eight diggers, seven doubles, one triple, 12 singles, 26 ribbies, five walks versus 15 strikeouts. That's not bad rate. 16 extra base hits. Yo, Hunter Pence is back in action. And he's doing it in fashion. And I think he deserves a card. We got another one. We got Mr. David Fletcher. I didn't even know about this guy. I'm looking at the stats now. I'm like, yo, this guy's on freaking, he's back. David Fletcher, is he back? No, I don't even know who he is. So David Fletcher, he's 40 for 111. That is just amazing average. He has 27 uh, hits. He's an average guy. He's like an average guy. He has eight doubles, three diggers, one triple. He's got 12 ribbies, nine walks versus nine strikeouts. Beautiful rate, 12 extra base hits. Yo. He deserves at least a gold card. He is underrated as hell. I say he goes silver. I will be investing in him. Yo, those stats are I those stats are very good. He is a top 10 player over the last month, according to Yahoo Fantasy. And next up. Okay. See, we all thought Ryu on the Dodgers was the best pitcher this month, but it is not. It is Lucas Giolito. Yeah, it's freaking Lucas Giolito. Isn't that crazy? Lucas Giolito finally proving his potential. Want to hear his stats over the last month? I cannot believe these stats. He is 6-0 this month. 6-0. 43 innings pitched, 50 strikeouts, 8 walks. Okay, those stats are crazy. He has 5 earned runs the whole month. 5 earned runs. 5. What is that? Over 6 starts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yo, he is 6-0 over the last 6 starts. Yo, okay, this guy's getting a card. I think it's got to be a diamond card, 87, 88. The stats are just, oh my goodness. Lucas Giolito is, he's striking out people. He's given up six earned runs and six starts. Unheard of, unbelievable. Next up, this month, do we have a Trevor Story or Rizzo in the mix? It is possible. With Story hitting those two home runs yesterday or two days ago, Going off the last two weeks, I say he may get a card. I'm not sure. He's at 4K. I told you guys to invest in that too. Trevor Story, the god. He's a beast as a goal player. If they give him an 88 or an 87, that would be a blessing. He literally might have all 99 hitting stats. Hopefully better vision. If he gets a diamond card, I will not. I would, I would be happy. I love Story. We're going to go back into more pitchers. And I know off the top of my head, Josh Hader and Chapman were both named uh, relievers of the month. So do they get cards? I think it's possible. But here's the problem. Chapman and Hader are already diamonds. They could maybe drop 90s this player of the month. I don't know. But I know that Chapman and Hader were named relievers of the month. I also think Brad Hand deserves a card, a diamond 80 something. But these are all predictions. These are all the possible predictions. I think these are the best predictions. Josh Hader over the last month. He has, he only has... 13 innings pitched, he has one win, one loss, five saves, two earned runs, and 21 strikeouts. So, yeah, he only has two earned runs over the last month. That's really good. Yeah, but Josh Hader was the name player of the month. I hope he gets a card. I love Mr. Hader. He's a beast. And Aroldis Chow was named uh, closer of the month, or reliever of the month. 11 innings pitched, 11 saves. Wow, that's crazy. 11 saves, 17 Ks versus four walks in 11 innings pitched. He deserves a card, but will they give it to him? We'll see. And yeah, last but not least, Rue, Ryu, Rue, whatever. I don't know. Yo, yo, you guys know the stats. You know how good he's been doing. The Dodgers are doing good as usual. 5-0 and over the last month. Oh my goodness. 30 strikeouts versus 3, wall, uh, versus three walks and 30, 37 innings pitched. He has, he's undefeated this month. He has a complete game this month, a shutout this month. Unbelievable stats. He's got to get an 88-87 card. Uh, I really think he deserves it. And let me just check if there's any other players that I missed. All batters last month. If you guys don't believe these stats, just go 
Uh, go check out the stats on Yahoo Fantasy, Yahoo whatever. Honestly, Max Muncy also deserves one. So does Juano Suarez. I'm not going to get into the stats, but they are top 15, both of them, over the last month. So, yeah, Muncy, Suarez, Rendon's been very good over the last month. And, yeah, Eduardo Escobar. I didn't even mention him, did I? Eduardo Escobar has been absolutely amazing. Uh, he did not get a card last month. So this month, I really think he's going to get a card, possibly a gold card and diamond card, whatever. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you in these player of the month predictions. But yeah, I feel like those are the best cards. Those are the cards that should get upgrades. I, should, I guess you could say upgrades, new cards. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the stream later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. Hey, yo,